Are spammers uh, cold-hearted, insensitive, and colorblind? Hmm. Greeting Money and Life Movement. This is JJ Ramos. Mr. Money and Life, welcome to Random Thoughts. Before we answer that, before we answer that burning question of mine, I'd like to remind everybody to well hit subscribe and the bell before you forget before you forget anything. All right. So if it, so if I got a new video, if I got a new video out, especially an episode of this show, you'll be the first to know. Now, on to my burning question. Are spammers cold-blooded, insensitive, and colorblind? Hmm. Maybe yes, maybe no. Right? Yes, in the sense that they don't consider, uh, they don't think about forming friendly relationships with whoever they're, whoever they're sending their... Uh, Call this their ads too. Uh, of course, they are cold-blooded. They're insensitive. All right. They just want. They just want to. They just want to spread the word out without even, without even considering, uh, without even considering the uh, the personal the personal digital space of uh, of of that of that person of that person they're sending it to. So in that sense, they are cold-blooded and insensitive. Partly. In, no, because probably it's just misguided. Probably it's just misguided ignorance. All right. There's always a professional way of doing everything, especially if you're if you're running an online business, especially if you're a network marketer. All right. Yeah, that's part partly no. All right. So, well, again, it's partly no. But this time, because um, either they're uh, they're misguided, they're either misguided, or they are so they are so deliberate on on that form of shit, right? Are they colorblind? <clears throat> I guess so. Well, because um, they don't they don't care actually. They don't they don't care. Uh, the moment they, they, the moment they spread the word through, uh, the, the moment they spread the word online, right? They basically don't care. They just want they, as I said, as I said a while ago, they just want to spread the word out. They just, uh, they just type in, they just type in that email, they type in that, uh, type in that social media post, and just they just uh, send, they just just they just click send or post. That's it, right? They don't care what. Uh, what your sentiments are regarding spam, what your religion tells about spam, what your race tells about spam, and everything salesy, okay? And everything salesy. Don't forget that, right? So, hmm, probably sixty percent yes, forty percent no. Just to give you a number, just to give you a number on. Uh, on the possible answers to my burning question. Now, as always, if it's a random thought, it's open for discussion. So, leave comments below, and let's and let's talk about that. Right? I really love to expound on this idea. Now, for the last episode, uh, it, it was a really quick one. But uh, if you want to fur- if you want to further discuss, if you want to further discuss it. Go, go to that episode. Leave a comment below. One benefit of reformatting this show is, well, I get, I get new blog ideas. All right, new ideas for my blog, which is the lifeblood of my, of my brand actually. So through your help, we can, uh, we can, we can, we can put out a better blog post. Okay, so just comment. Okay, comment away, uh, starting from on all, on all episodes actually of random thoughts. All right, this is episode ten. Right. The previous one was always was also was of course episode nine. Right. This is episode ten. Just forgot I forgot to mention in that episode what number it is. So remember, a random thought is always open for discussion. So comments are comments are very welcome. The uh, the relevant the relevant ones. Okay. If you post an irrelevant comment, 
don't ex- don't expect me to don't expect me to keep it up all right don't expect me to keep that comment on all right so that's it the next episode thank you for watching